way to meet Jackie Q. She's a 30 year old woman who suffers from a very rare condition called keratoconus in both her eyes. Um, she has barely, not even 20% vision in her one eye and is completely blind in the other. Um, she is not a medical aid. She has had a previous operation in the past. Okay. Um, unfortunately, it was unsuccessful. Single mom, two kids. Two kids. To maintain a home and dealing with a crisis of not being able to see. And that's it. Okay. Well, I'm looking forward to meeting her. Um, well, basically, I've had um, a corneal transplant on my left eye. Um, and I thought after the transplant I'll be able to see and, you know, my life would basically be back to normal. But um, that hasn't been the case um, because of financial reasons. I haven't had um, the money to actually have new lenses done. So I've actually um, been using my old lenses. And um, yesterday I was told that I've actually been damaging my cornea because of those old lenses. So, yeah. What would it cost you to maintain these lenses on a yearly basis? Um, because um, yesterday Willem told me that I actually had to have regular checkups like every four months mm -hmm. or something that I have really been neglecting my eyes. So I mean every, every four months you would have to obviously buy contact lenses? No, it's just like a, a checkup and okay. just to see if, if I can still see with those lenses and yeah. if, I, if, I, if I can't see then obviously have new lenses made. And what would that cost? Um, well, I don't know how much they would charge, but um, with my, well, where, where I had these lenses, um, one lens cost about 5000 With my current job and my current salary, I can't really do much. I mm -hmm. uh, can't even afford medical aid, so yeah, it's been a struggle. So this actually means quite a big deal to you, actually, just to get this sorted out. And it's such a small thing, but it's such a big thing. Yes, to me, it's, it's, it's really a big thing. Yes. Um, yeah, I've really struggled a lot. Mm. I can appreciate that. I didn't realise that that condition was so severe, and I don't think that I'm interested either. No. He said something about the fact that she was actually doing more damage to her eye not getting the proper medical treatment that she needed and she didn't even realize that and she thought that she was doing the right thing going forward as what she was actually busy with other optometrists. She was totally mistreated and neglected from a previous doctor. And the fact of this being treated with your eyes is that she could have lost her entire eyesight. It's, it's and she only had one eye to have eyesight to. I find it to be extremely humbling in the fact of the people we're meeting and how what amazing energy they project the most difficult things they're going through, but yet keeping a positive outlook. It's completely inspiring. It's completely inspiring. Um, so another story, it was top three story as I'm, as, I'm, as I'm going through it. And we need to select one of these stories to hopefully help 